Hey guys, my name is Kyle and today I'm going to show you how to, or this series of videos is going to show you how to set up a project using the SQLize ORM for MySQL. So let's jump right into it. For a warning, if you just want to get straight into the let's talk about the code and start setting things up, go to the next video because in this video I'm going to talk about the project that we'll be building and explain to you a little bit about how I plan on building it. So the project that we're going to be building is a kind of Udemy meets um, Khan Academy meets Skillshare type application. So basically it, t it borrows a lot from the flipped classroom um, style of teaching. I thought that there's a lot of sites out there that are very geared towards the learning aspect of watching videos and doing this and doing that. And then there's not a whole lot of sites out there. In fact, it's very difficult to find a site out there that focuses on the learning by doing um, portion of just learning. And I think as a programmer, we're very used to learning by doing, right? So why doesn't this exist for other types of courses? So that's what we're going to be building, a kind of course like that. Uh, this is the schema, and I'll talk about that in a second, but let's introduce you to what some of the design is going to look like. So the core, or the actual project is going to be called My Own Tutor. Who knows if that's the logo I'll stick with. Took me a little while to make it, so I probably will for at least a little while. Oh dear. Um, okay, and then I do best if I have designs, if I've thought through what something is going to look like. So this is a very rough, very, very rough version of what I envision this eventually looking like. Um, who knows when I build the front end if this is going to resemble it at all. Probably not. So a user logs in, and from this vantage point, we're logging in as a student. So a student logs in, and they see the recent activity. So these are the lectures that they might have recently watched. Uh, and then they can see different courses that they might be enrolled in. Or if they are not enrolled in a course, so this would be like the first time they log in, then they'll see something, just this little gray placeholder, but there looks like there's nothing here, and then they're going to be taken to add some courses. So let's assume that they don't have any courses. Then they're going to go down to a course listing. That's just going to be a series of cards um, that's going to kind of flip over and show them a slight description of the course and a link to actually start the course, which will take them to the course listing. So this page, the course listing, is actually very similar to what you'd see or what they would see if they had already started the course. Only difference is they probably won't see this description or this button that says add to courses. Um, they would just see the different sections and maybe a video of where they last left off. As you can see, a course has different sections. Those sections have lectures and questions. We're going to host, I'm going to host all of the videos that I use for these courses um, on Vimeo. So we're really just concerned with a Vimeo ID. All right, let's see here. You click on a different video and it's going to take you to the actual video. So this would be like a Vimeo player in the background. And if they so choose, there's going to be a pop-out menu that shows them this different section along with the videos in this section. And most likely there will eventually be like a back button that says, hey, take me back to the course listing. If they clicked on a question, so not a video, they would see something along the lines of this, where they have the actual question, uh, possible solutions, or maybe a text box, and then they can check the answer, or they can watch a video. So they can click on I need help, and they can see a video that explains how to walk through this question. And that's it from their perspective. Uh, very simple, very easy. Now, if an admin logs in, so we are going to be building two sides to this, not just the user side or the client side, but also an admin side. So if an admin logs in, 
I'm not entirely sure what they're going to see yet. Um, that is probably going to be a something that I explore as we build it out further. Uh, but they're also going to have this menu up here. So users, courses, videos, and questions. Those are the basic things that they need to be able to manipulate. So let's say they've clicked on courses. They're going to see a list of courses, obviously, and then the ability to add a new course. If you hate this UI, you're not alone. I am not really happy with how this turned out, but that's why it's called a rough draft. If they click on videos, they're going to see a list of videos. And again, the ability to add a new video. If they click on that, these are the different things that they're going to see. So videos are going to have a title, a Vimeo ID that links out, and they're going to have an icon. Okay. And that modal structure is something that we'll do along the whole way, but you won't actually see me build this front end. This is just for you to see the data on the back end is going to need to manipulate. So then we have, if they want to um, add a new course, so this isn't them adding a new video. I just didn't change some of the text here. My bad. Uh, so they would add a course title and probably a course description right here maybe some requirements, and then they would hit save changes. That would add a new course. This would be viewing an actual course. So here you're going to be, uh, over here you have the sections of the course, the videos of the course, and the questions of the course. So for this, you would be looking at different sections. You can add a section. You can add new videos or lectures to a section. Uh, this would be looking at the different questions. So you can have a list of questions here. If we want to add a new question, we're going to see a kind of form layout. So we can add the text, the category, the type, the answer. If it's a multiple choice, instead of a text question, we can add um, different options. And then we can add a video to this uh, question so that they can have a walkthrough. And that's it. That's going to be the very, very simple uh, I think that's it, uh, layout that this course is going to follow. Okay. Um, and then, let's see here, this is the simple um, database schema that this course is going to have. So first and foremost, we have users. Users are going to have an ID, a first name, a last name, an email, a username, and a password. Okay, each user can be assigned to a course, and that's going to happen through this table here. So courses have a title, a description. This is going to get bigger. Uh, they're probably they're also going to have requirements, so there's almost certainly going to be a requirements table that branches off of this. Um, let's see here. There's going to be sections, so each course has different sections. And sections really only have a title. That's it. Now we know that sections can have videos and questions. So let's zoom out here though. We know videos can have a title and a Vimeo ID. That's really all that a uh, video has. Uh, maybe we'll give a description to that later on, but probably not. And then they can sections can also have questions. So questions are going to have an ID, a type, and a title. Okay. Ooh. And then questions have answers. So each question is going to have an answer. And if it's a multiple choice question, it can have multiple responses. Okay. If it's a text question, it's not going to have an entry in this responses table. Um, the biggest change that might happen to this later on probably will happen to this and this is why I don't even know what the admin is going to see when they initially log in yet is we may change this to keep track 
of a student's answers. So when they click on an answer and it says, hey, you got the right answer, it might actually keep track of that um, in the future. Right now, as this is set up, if they get a right or wrong answer, there's no way to store that in these three tables. Um, so we might turn that into something much more aggressive um, by tracking a student's uh, tracking a student's progress throughout the course. That's almost certainly something we're going to do. So this is a very simple basic starter schema that we're going to start with and it will probably change. All right, so that's it for the introduction to the course. That's what this whole project is going to be building. Um, Next, we'll go into where we actually start with this course.